NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory listens to the sun. The sound it picks up is too deep for humans to hear. But if you speed up 40 days recording into a few seconds, this is what you get. It's the sound of chaos. Since we can't see into the sun, its sound is vital to scientists. When a gun fires, the bullet rushes out and smashes into air, creating waves of turbulence. When we hear the gun firing, these waves vibrate our eardrums. What we see here is sound. The sun works the same way on a much larger scale. When we see these waves moving across, what we're looking at is when material moves up from inside the sun and it makes noise. It's just like it ran into a surface. It just ran into a wall and it generates sound and we see that sound moving all around the sun. Sound waves crashing through the plasma create ripples in the sun's surface. And all we see are these ripples. Those are the actual sound waves of the sun. And they move around the entire sun. They move down inside the sun. They move back up to the surface. By tracking the sound, scientists can see the invisible. They pick up sound waves smashing against the sun's surface and resonating throughout the solar interior, revealing a violent, boiling convection zone. The sun can be said to be ringing. You have this hot gas rising, you have cool gas falling, you have all this turbulence, you have so much action going on that it causes the sun to ring. Columns of gases rise and fall, churned by heat from below. If you look at water boiling, um, bubbles of gas or water are rising up because they're hot, and then they cool off and then they sink back down. And if you look at a, a pot of boiling water, that's the same phenomena that's going on on the sun, but with hot plasma instead of water. 